Hey everybody, it's Mr. K. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about flutes. Now in the last video we talked about some of the older types of flutes, including this Native American flute that I have at home, right? What we didn't talk about is how it works. Right? We looked a little bit about blowing across the top of the bottle, remember? It's a little more complicated because I'm not actually blowing across the hole here for this flute. What I'm doing is blowing in. But that's okay because what's happening is, if I take this back, I can show you a little bit. Uh-oh. What's happening is the air is going through my flute here and then coming out here and going across a hole. Okay, this is like the, the top of the bottle that I was showing you yesterday. When I blow into this, the air comes through a hole that or a hole through here and then blows across this. And what that does is uh-oh. Uh-oh, I broke it. It gives me that nice little whistle sound okay and that's the deal though this is basically a whistle with holes in it to make different notes now again I blow into this one then the air blows across here on the flutes that we see today you actually blow across what's called a mouthpiece Now, we could blow on that all day, and it would make just one note the whole time, right? That's why we have all of those little keys. On my flute, I've only got six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. On a regular flute, they have about 20 holes, and they have nine keys, which covers all of them in different ways. Like this picture shows you. Again, all those different buttons that we use, all the different combinations that they use to play them, okay, can make a whole lot of different notes, from the very low notes that we hear on a flute to the very high notes that we can hear on a flute. So down below today, I've got some videos that you can watch, and also, obviously, some moving activities. One video that I, I think is very interesting is the one of how they make a flute. Okay, it's the one with how they make the metal ones, and they can be different colors, like this picture shows you. And they can be made of different types of metal. Like the one in the video below is actually made of gold. It's got a little copper in it to make it a rose gold color. So kind of uh, pinkish gold. But it's still a gold and a silver flute that they make it out of. There's uh, also a couple on how they make like my Native American flute, and they have another one on how they make the pan flutes. You're not required to watch any of them, okay? But it's kind of interesting to see how they do some of this stuff. Alrighty, next week, we're going to start learning about the clarinet. I don't own a flute, but I do own a clarinet. And so next week, we'll have a little bit of a more in-depth discussion on that instrument. It is still a... A woodwind instrument that's right that's the family we're looking at so make sure you remember that okay i will see you next week have a good weekend and bye